Okay, I am ready to go. Look at me looking all fly for fall. Mauve lips, wing liner, perfect time for a selfie. Let, just let me get the right angle. Uh, mm, not that angle. That one's not my, oh, here we go. Good lighting, good angle, I love it. All right, let's take a look at this. And what the heck happened? My brows completely disappeared. I'm not bald up there, I have really dark brows. What's going on here? I don't get it. I look in the mirror, I have brows. On the phone, no brows. Brows, no brows. Brows, no brows. What is this madness? I don't get it. What, what, I, I, duh. No big deal, this is pretty easy to fix. First things first, I'm gonna comb through my brows with a spoolie brush. Then after that, I'm gonna take my brow pencil and use the inner corner of my eye as a guide to draw the beginning of my brow. Now, if you want to use your nose as a guide instead, you can. That's what most people say you should do. However, I find that since I have such a large nose, that comes a little bit too far out. And at the beginning of my brow, I'm going to draw a little dot below and above. The same thing goes with over the arch. I'm going to draw a little dot below and above the arch, and the way I know is I'm gonna keep my pencil in a line from my nose to right over the iris of my eye. and the two dots will serve as like boundaries to the eyebrows that way I get it to the thickness that I want and then for the outer corner of the brow I'm gonna go along my nose along the corner of my eye and then draw a little dot and yes this one was way too far if you should do this just grab yourself a makeup remover and swab it with a cotton swipe and that second dot is about right and I did go over that later on with a makeup remover. Now I'm going to connect the dots using gentle feather-like strokes and focusing most of the pigment on the arch of the brow and on the tail since those areas seem to be the areas that disappear the most in pictures, especially in outdoor pictures or where you're exposed to bright light, sunlight, bright flashes, um, especially pictures taken by professional photographers, the arch and the tail disappear the most. And I'm just going to use gentle feather-like strokes to fill in the brow and connect those dots. Now if you're like me and your brows tend to be a little bit thicker than you would like after drawing them in, just go ahead and give them a pinch all along the brow and that tends to bring all the pigment back where you want it inside the brow. And then after that, to give my brows that super clean, sharp look that seems to be in right now, I'm going to outline them with a pencil, just around the edges, not coming too far out, but barely touching the hairs. Now this does tend to make your brows look a little bit thicker, so if you are not nuts about thick brows, then you may want to skip this step. However, I encourage you to give it a try and see if you like it, because you may surprise yourself. And then to make sure all the pigment from the brow pencil has blended pretty seamlessly into your brows, just brush through them with a little spoolie brush again. And this step is totally optional, but if you want to do it, you can. Brows with a straight front near them, close to the nose, tend to be really on trend right now. So I'm going to give myself a very slight squareness to the front, and then I'm going to smooth it out with my fingers and with the brush. After that, I'm going to go through my brows really quick with the brow gel. This is also very optional, but trust me, if you do it, you won't regret it. And I'm going to brush the hairs near the front up and just make sure the tips of the hairs aren't sticking too high. And then near the arch and the tail, I'm going to brush it up first, and then I'm going to push them down pretty flat against the arch. That way, since my tail of my brow is so sparse down there, that'll make the most of whatever little hairs are there. And then this is where the magic happens. You take a little bit of concealer and you put it on a flat brush and you brush it just along the edges and that'll really clean up the edges of the brows and give their shape better definition and it'll be more obvious to the eye that they're more clean cut, I guess, for lack of better vocabulary. And 
And then I'm going to just blend that concealer out with my ring finger. You can use a sponge if you want, but I find the ring finger is the perfect size and warmth for this. And let's see how these brows stand up to the selfie. And not too bad. They look pretty good. We have reached our goal. Yes. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Hey, how's it going? Girl, where are you at? The party started an hour ago. Uh, oh, uh, uh... You forgot to fill in your brows again, didn't you? Yes. Mm-hmm. Alright, you get your butt down here quick. <sighs> okay, I'm coming. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, gotta run! Thanks again, everybody. Bye-bye!